I'm Sean, the Modern Yeoman, and I'm excited to announce a new addition here to the homestead, an addition that I'm keen to put to the test. And while I could wax out a cryptic monologue for the next two to four minutes, I could also get right to the point and just show you the darn thing, an approach that, in this particular case, I prefer. So let's go. Real quick, before I unveil the new addition, I did quickly want to explain what's going on with this seven foot by 10 foot wooden frame that you see on the ground behind me here. It made a brief appearance a few episodes ago, and a couple of very perceptive viewers rightly wondered what the heck I've got cooking up. Well, long story short, I've begun work on my mobile meat chicken tractor. And this right here is my very amateur attempt at the bottom frame of that meat chicken tractor. I mentioned a while back that I wanted to use as much free salvage wood as possible in this project, and so far I'm proud to report that's exactly what I've done. It's worth noting here that I'm not building this meat chicken tractor according to any plans. No, this is pure improv. Now don't get me wrong, I really like the Salatin style chicken tractor as well as the Suscovich style chicken tractor. But both of those plans call for very specific cuts of wood. Cuts of wood that as I look around the ragtag assemblage of salvage that I have up here in the hayloft, I just don't have. And let's be honest, the prices of lumber are not exactly cheap right now. So, in the twin spirits of DIY and thrift, I've decided to make my own style chicken tractor. The modern yeoman chicken tractor. The idea is to make this an A-frame style structure, so my next task is going to be finding enough 2x4s or 2x2s to serve as the rafters for this A-frame. Once I've done that, the idea is to cover up the entire structure with a mix of hardware cloth and metal roof panels, both materials of which I have quite a bit of. Thankfully, I'll keep chipping away at this project and hopefully show you some decent progress here in the next few weeks. In the meantime, the question still remains, just what exactly is this mysterious new addition to the homestead? Well, If you guessed a new mower, you'd be right.
I'd like you to meet the Cub Cadet 46 inch Enduro Series XT1. Already I can anticipate the questions coming at me, so I'll just jump right into it. Sean, why did you buy a regular riding mower and not a full-fledged tractor? You can get so much more done on a homestead with a tractor than with a riding mower. Well, there's several reasons for this, but the primary one is that in order to buy a full-fledged tractor, either new or used, and trust me, I had my ear to the ground in both avenues, Holly and I would need to go into debt. And while I won't get into the big story behind it, the whole reason that we're here in the homestead to begin with is because we were able to get rid of all of our debt. And right now, the only debt that we have is the mortgage that we're paying on our chunk of the homestead. Let me be very clear, we still do eventually want to get a tractor one day. We just wanna buy one when we can afford the couple of tens of thousands of dollars to get one. Right now, we don't have the money to lay down for that kind of thing, so that's why we're going with this for now. That actually leads me to my second point. I was actually able to get this mower for a pretty steep discount, buy it outright. We didn't have to spend that much money to get it at all. Like it or not, spring is coming and we will need to mow our several acres of pasture and haul stuff around. So this is the solution that we came up with for now. Trust me, I intend to continue using this thing even after we get the tractor in the next few years. But this is a good short-term solution to get us to that point. So now that I have this thing in my possession, there's three primary tests that I wanna run it through today. Number one, mowing in a regular patch of grass to see how it handles it. Number two, hauling things on the small little wheelbarrow that I've got. Number three, the big test, seeing if it'll pull that big giant trailer that I pulled out of the patch over there the other day. If it does that, I'll be very excited, but if it doesn't, I'll still be pretty happy that it can take that wheelbarrow around. Let's go try it out. So I don't expect terrible amount of trouble for this first test, cutting a bunch of irregular long grass here. It's This grass, as you can see, it, it gets up to above my knee level, but it's kind of flattened out because of the weather. I don't think the mower's gonna have trouble with this, but it is something that I, I wanna see how it performs. So let's give it a shot. Looks good. Again, another home run. Now we come to the real test the big trailer. To be honest, I do have my doubts, but I'd be kicking myself if I didn't at least give this a shot. Now a caveat is in order here. I do know that the wheels on this trailer are really bad. However, it does roll. I was able to roll it myself, in fact. If the mower is able to pull this thing to a satisfactory degree, then I will be purchasing new wheels to put on this trailer to use as a big trailer to haul things around the homestead. Let's give it a shot. Well, I'm happy to report that this thing pulled that trailer with no problems whatsoever. No hiccups, no jolts, no hesitation. It was very easy for it. I'm very happy that it passed this test. So there you have it, the new addition to the homestead, which is quite a bit more powerful than I thought it would be. 
It's especially a big bonus being able to use this really big trailer around the homestead when the trailer itself was a surprise as of just a few days ago. I can haul so much stuff around the property with this thing. Brush, trash, logs, whatever it is, I can load, up, load them up on here and haul them away with my mower. Anyways, until next time, ride or die.